Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, I am your humble host, Jasper Gonzo, and this is a quick vid. What's next? We talk about sports, and uh, we're going to make this very quick. Uh, the Buccaneers and the Kansas City Chiefs played last night. Uh, what, a lot, what a lot of people thought it was going to be a shootout, a very close game. Some people say it was going to be about maybe uh, anywhere from three to five points. I thought it was going to maybe be yeah, right in that range. Um, but uh, it turned out differently. Let's take a look. Brady wins his seventh ring by beating the Buccaneers 31 to 9. Tom Brady made the Buccaneers and their fans and their city believe for the moment from the moment he arrived in Tampa Bay with the help of old friend Rob Gronkowski, a Gronk, and a fierce defense. I don't want to say ferocious, I would say fierce. Brady and the Buccaneers are Super Bowl champs. I myself personally no fan of Brady. I respect what he is. I respect uh, now, if anybody has any doubts that he is the GOAT, you win seven rings in ten attempts, dude, you know, you're the GOAT. Me, I've always been a Montana fan. I grew, uh, I grew up uh, during the 80s, uh, during the uh, 49ers uh, run and their reign. Uh, Montana, you go to four Super Bowls, you win four Super Bowls, you win three of those MVPs out of those four years, you're considered the GOAT. Now, a lot of people will still say, hey, Montana is the GOAT. Montana never lost going into the Super Bowl. You can make that argument. No way fans are buts about it. Like I said, me personally, I'm not a Brady fan. Uh, growing up near Philadelphia, I was born and bred into an Eagles fan. And it was a great thing that um, when Philadelphia beat uh, the vaunted New England Patriots and this same Tom Brady. I will pull this up right here and still. Super Bowl champs. 2017. Now. We as Philadelphia fans will always hold this in high regard. Because. Like Ric Flair says. You want to be the man, you got to beat the man. And beat the man, uh, we did in 2017. But, you got to give uh, Brady uh, all due credit. He came back the following year, and, uh, you know, they won. You know, after taking a loss, they came back and won again. And Brady leaves Belichick and the Patriots, goes down to Tampa Bay, and wins the whole thing. Uh, I'll tell you right now. Uh, like I said. I will give this man all due credit. All due props. But you have your haters out there. You have your haters out there. Uh, like I said. I personally don't have a Twitter account. I don't get involved with that cesspool. Um, but you have those out there. Who have slammed Brady. Because of his relationship. With the former president of the United States. I'm not going to get into all that. I'm not going to get into whole politics regarding this. This, for the most part, I would say for 99.9%, .9%, it was a politic-free game. It was. You didn't hear neither Romo nor Nance, who did the play-by-play -play in the commentary, mention anything regarding politics, which was a good thing. Especially the way 2020 went. You wanted 2021 to finish on a high note. You did. And you got that. You didn't get the game that everybody wanted. Everybody wanted a shootout. You didn't get that. Uh, with all due respect to uh, Mahomes and the Chiefs, you can't fault the kid. The kid is going to be there again. They're, I mean, they're more than likely they are going to be favored to go back. Um, like I said, they got a great quarterback. A, uh, you know, the, the 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 future in the NFL is in good hands uh, with Patrick Mahomes. Uh, great tight end in Kelsey. Uh, great uh, back uh, out of the you know out of the backfield. Great hands. In uh, Tyreek Hill, um, a solid defense. Uh, I think there were times in the game where uh, the Chiefs had opportunity 
But what kills any team, no matter what, how, no matter, assume what, no matter how good you are, you will kill a vaunted offense with penalties. Penalties, defensive penalties, killed the Chiefs. Any chance of trying to get back into this game, it hurt them royally in the first half, going into the third quarter. That will kill any team, no matter how great you are. Um, but with that being said, uh, all props to Brady. Great quarterback, Hall of Fame, New A fans are butts or doubts about it. Um, is he going to play another year? That's the thing. That's the, that's going to be the question. Are you going to play again? Or basically, are you going to ride this horse out of Dodge with that trophy, with seven trophies in your hand, and then just waiting for the Hall of Fame to go, uh, Mr. Brady, uh, here's your jacket. But with that being said, I'm Jazz Borgonzo. This is what's next. Quick video. Congratulations to Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.